We're meeting here with Christian Hansen, Animal Health and Nutrition at Eurotier. And we would like to talk about the new Pork Boost program. Um, I'm standing here with Gorm Madsen and Lars Inga Olson. Um, Gorm, uh, could you tell me why you created the Pork Boost program? Sure, Vincent. So, um, for us, it's a logical extension of our way to communicate and associate with our customers and industry professionals. Um, Pork Boost is a program brand that covers uh, well-established brands such as Probias Guard, Lactifirm and BioPlus. Uh, on top of that, we have recently introduced a number of services uh, that enables pork producers and consultants to optimize uh, their production using their own feed and production data. Lars, could you explain a little bit um, about the contents of the Pork Boost program? The Pork Boost program, that is a full program for uh, pigs, going all the way from farrow to finish. And if you're then looking and breaking it down, in sows for example, we are utilizing the, the feed in a better way, so we can reduce the weight loss in gestating sows. And what is the most important thing about it is that you can get one more live piglet per year. If you're then going further on to the piglet, then it's very uh, important to establish a good gut flora early in the life and then also to increase the average daily weight gain and reduce the feed conversion ratio. If we then go uh, to the, the newer segment that we are into, that is the grow finisher segment, there we are utilizing the products to bet, get a better digestion of the feed uh, due to the enzyme activity so you can increase your caloric efficiency and by that get a much better profit for the farmer. And this whole program, the Pork Post program, that is backed up by, uh, first of all, a caloric efficiency calculator, uh, and then also a reduced sugar trial that we're doing to see the enzyme activity. How does this calculator exactly work? The calculator is a web-based uh, program. We also have it on apps, uh, where you are going in uh, and putting in your own figures to see in, in different uh, stages of, of life between uh, different kilograms and so on and where you can then get a uh, feed formulation out of it and you can see how much you can earn in terms of money if you're reducing energy, if you're reducing protein or what you're doing. Um, so what is the value of this calculator? The value of the calculator is that uh, the customer can on its own put in his own figures, his own raw material price and see how the feed formulation is changing if you are reducing uh, uh, energy or you are reducing protein and you can see the profit that is coming out of it. And what is the test all about? The uh, uh, reducing uh, sugar test is all about that we are uh, measuring how much extra sugar that is released by the enzymatic breakdown of the fibers so we can get a value on it. Okay. Going back to Gorm, um, could you tell me a little bit um, what is the future of probiotics and animal nutrition according you, to you? Mm. Certainly, so I see a clear increase in the use of probiotics and, th and that's happening right now in fact. Uh, if we look to the development of probiotics, um, probiotics first earned its right to be in the piglet segment where producers clearly see the effect of adding um, a probiotic that will stabilize the gut of young animals that are faced with high stress levels. Um, we have also recently seen growth in the use of probiotics in sows uh, and that has happened in, uh, in connection to the uh, increased sophistication of both the management and the genetics of the sow herds. And then thirdly, um, in the growth finisher units, we also see uh, clear growth, as, as Lars Inge has pointed out, there's a lot of benefits to be, uh, to be uh, harvested in the growth finisher units, so our products will make more nutrients available to the pig, uh, and essentially the producer will have more meat for less feed. Finally, I think when it comes to the technology itself, there's still a lot of potential left, both in terms of matching the mode of action, the specific uh, characteristics and the, and the strength of each strain to challenges of the producers, but also for a company like Christian Hansen to continue the search for more effective strains. 
Um, so with Pork Boost, we have launched now a program brand uh, that will be the platform on, what, on which we want to introduce next generation products. And um, we really look forward to working with producers on realizing the value that our offering can bring to them. Do you expect that probiotics and prebiotics, for instance, can completely replace antibiotics in the future? I think uh, if uh, producers want to completely remove antibiotics, uh, probiotics certainly will play a key role. Uh, prebiotics also have an effect, um, but I think it, it will very much depend on, on the specific conditions of each, each producer, uh, how they want to tackle it and, and how it will work uh, in connection with, uh, with how they, they manage their operation. Thank you very much for these answers. I think that you've given the readers a better idea of what pork booth can mean to them. Um, thank you for joining us. This was Pig Progress live from Eurotea.